It's the year anniversary for this store that I'm inside of today in Barracks Row. It's Bitter Grace. They opened in the middle of the pandemic in October of 2020, and they say they've been doing great ever since. Now, one of the big things that this store is known for and what they want to impress upon people is sustainable and environmentally friendly fashion. So take, for instance, this bag that was made in Colombia. These are actually soda can tabs that were, there's 400 of them here that make up this small bag. And this handle you see here, it's actually made from orange peels and you can still smell them. This is hand beaded by hand by the Maasai community in Kenya. At Bitter Grace, we're really big about sustainability and helping support artisans around the world. We believe in ethically sourcing products, helping marginalized groups and communities, empowering them to find a meaningful way to support their own families. So Henry Johnson, you're the owner of Bitter Grace. You've had the storefront here open for a year now. Congratulations Thank on the you. year Thank anniversary. So yeah. How have things been going for the past year? It's, it certainly has not been easy, but opening a business is never easy. You look beautiful. Thank you. So elevated. And what we do here is we help women sort of Remind them of their innate beauty, really matching that internal self with the external self. You have one of your clients here with you today. What, what are we doing? What are we taking her through? Every week we work with clients privately. So what we have here is a private styling experience. To help me with my time capsule for fall and winter pieces that are sustainable, um, supporting local business and female owned. Anything with a higher neckline is always very timeless never goes out of style. That's what speaks to you about this particular yes. store as opposed to any place else you might shop. Yes, 100%. Natural fabric, sustainability, mm -hmm. and supporting local. Helping women and working with them one-on-one -on -one like this at this capacity, it's, it's priceless. Anytime you can tuck in something or add a belt is always the way to go with your body, body type and your body shape. Have we all fallen behind in our fashion sense over the past year because we haven't been going out. We haven't had a need to get all dressed up, right? So are we behind? Do we all have to, have to catch up with our wardrobes? I thought about my grandma who one time looked me up and down and said, oh, you look comfortable. And that was before COVID, so. <laughs> not, that wasn't a compliment. <laughs> yeah, it was not a compliment. It was a little bit of shade from grandma. Elevating the self-image is our overall mission here at Bitter Grace and helping women sort of remind, helping remind them of their innate beauty and their innate elegance. See, we, we need to get to a place where you look comfortable does become really the, the compliment that it should be. Yeah. You know, we all should look, we all should feel comfortable. That was definitely shade, though, coming yes, from Grandma. Yes, no doubt. Grandma, I, I think we can agree on that. Now, I had a problem the day I did that story because I think, see how I'm dressed here? Yeah. It, it's the same jeans. I just, I just didn't have the jacket on with the hole in them. I'm like, I'm walking into a fashion boutique. You look comfortable, with, though. You I look do. comfortable, you but, look I, comfortable. I, but I didn't have... It, it's about self-image. That's what Anne-Marie Johnson is trying to put across. It's like, you know, the, the, the image that you want to portray to the world and how you see yourself internally that needs to translate into your fashion and how you dress and what you show people outwardly. Now, she's a brilliant woman. She actually has a career going back. She worked for the State Department. She worked for the White House. She did foreign relations. And, and what we're finding is that the relationships and the skills that she had in that arena is now able to translate with her sourcing and talking with clients who are in, in different countries and places all over the world. She opened Bitter Grace as an online boutique uh, in 2019 and then just opened the storefront here in Barracks Row about a year ago. And the, the name of the business, Bitter Grace, I was curious about where that came from. And she says it is grace from bitterness. And she talked a lot about her personal story, immigrating from the Philippines at 11 years old and talking about growing up in a, in a volatile household. And it was that experience that's transformed her into the woman that she is today in the business. Well, it, it is very impressive. And, and any, any, any kind of entity that's looking to inspire confidence uh, in people as we head back out into the world, I support. It's crucial. Listen, if you've got story tips for me, find me on Twitter, on Facebook at Adam Longo TV. We're still working the talk. I'm also on Instagram. Email me. We want your story ideas any way we can get them. Do me a favor. Jump in his mentions and just tell him that he looks comfortable like every day in <laughs> perpetuity. Come